Hi, I'm Shraddha Kadakya, founder of Just Click Image Making Company and a commercial photographer. Painters have always been related to colors and canvas. What if I told you even a photographer can paint a photograph using his camera? That's right. Today on Shooter Try, let's get our hands on light painting and redefine the art of conventional painting using our regular photography equipment. What exactly is a light painting? It is an interesting art of drawing in mid-air using an illuminated object like torch or lasers and capturing it through a camera. I know, I know, you all must be getting confused, but once you see it for yourself, it will be your new hobby. Let's see how. Now here's how to create simple photo paintings. Start by getting all the camera settings correct for the scene you are going to paint. It could be real tricky to get the lighting correct for the first couple tries, but will become easier after your first successful photo painting. Let's get started with step 1. Setting the aperture. With such extremely long shutter speed means you will need to dial up the aperture settings very high. You want the least amount of light hitting the sensor to counter the long shutter. Usually, any aperture above f8 will work. I know it feels odd using such a high aperture. Once we know the basic technique, you can set aperture as per your like and creativity. Second step is ISO. As ISO settings go for all circumstances, the lower is always the better. Same goes with light painting photography. Experiment by taking a couple sample shots and try lowering the ISO as much as you could to avoid any grainy appearance. Step 3 is shutter speed. For the first few shots, try shutter speeds of a couple of seconds and try just scribbling with your flashlight. Then you can quickly adjust the ISO and aperture according to what you plan to paint. Once the photos are looking better and you want more time to draw your photograph, move to the longer shutter settings on your DSLR. Now we are done with the theory part of it. Let's now take few practical examples and understand how you can create interesting light painting images. The basic props required to create and capture light painting images are tripod, camera, torch or any other light source. Today we are going to learn how to capture interesting shapes and graphics using light source. The most important requirement to capture interesting light painting images is dark environment. I am setting my camera aperture at f8, ISO 100 and shutter speed 4 seconds. I will be keeping my camera and tripod at a distance and set my camera at self timer mode on 10 seconds which will give me enough time to get inside the frame and light paint. Now as my camera setup and props and everything is ready, let's just get started. Make sure you focus on infinity. You can simply do that by turning your focus ring off your lens anti-clockwise. If your images are getting darker, you can correct your exposure by changing your aperture. To know more about aperture, please click on the link visible on your screen. If you require longer period of time to light paint a certain subject, you can change your shutter speed from 4 seconds to 10 seconds and further on. A tripod and a firm ground is a must to capture light painting images. You can use different kind of light sources apart from torch, mobile camera light or laser to add and create different kind of graphics on your images. You can even write your names on your images. How cool is that? There are a couple more tips that will help tremendously. Always keep the light dead straight pointing towards the lens. If you curve your hand and point it sideways, the camera won't pick it up. Always spell everything backwards like if you were writing in a mirror. That's the trickiest part, learning to write every letter backwards. That's about all it takes to create mind-blowing light painting images that will expand your creativity and your portfolio. Moving on to our click tip of the day. 
Every DSLR has a special button to preview the depth of field before you click. Make use of it will help you master in using correct aperture for given composition. Today we learn how creative we can get using a simple torch light combined with a dark surrounding. I'll be back with more interesting and creative lessons on photography. Keep posting your comments and feedbacks or requests. We would love to answer them all. Shoot well, shoot it right.